Howdy ho everyone, JP here at Websites for Beginners and in this tutorial we are going to look at the icon list block add-on from Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. And a list icon list is basically a list that you can create with a little icon at the beginning. For example, here we have healthcare services and then you list everything here with the icon over there. You will see as I hover over it, you can also add links to this. So easily create links to other pages or even other websites. Here's another example of how you can create the lists, add color and also change out the icons. Let's go into WordPress ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg and see how this works. This is the page that I have, which is an interior designer page. And already there's a very good example of how you can use the list within this template site. I go to contact and here within the contact area, you're going to see very useful feature to bring in the icon list block to display your contact details. Let's edit the page and have a quick look at that. And then we bring in the block by ourselves and see what is what for that. To interact with it, simply click in the block area and that will open the option sidebar for you. You will see that we've got three items here and in the sidebar, we've got icon one, two and three. And they've been set up so that you can see the location, the address and the telephone number. Let's bring in our own list. Click here on add block and you look under ultimate add-ons blocks for icon list and scroll through it. And if you don't see it, like I'm missing it now, there it is. The first one, you can just search up here for icon list, click on it and it brings it in. I have the option here now to increase the number of icons. Like, so you have to drag this slider here on the right for the number you have. This is not ideal. I wish it could have been an enter return and there's a new one, but this is how it works in the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg in the icon list block. What I'll do is I'll change this one and I'll call it something sweet. And then I will go and style it. So I go to icon one settings, change the content, and I have the option between an icon and an image. Let's go for another icon. I close this one and then I search for one over here. You can search by keywords, but it's actually pretty difficult to find the word that you are looking for. So I just go through it. There are only 62 to choose from. So it's not like you're going to get lost. If you find the icon you like, then let's go back and we can make a few changes here. If you want to link it, click here and it will open the area where you can link it. I will disable the link for now. Here we have normal and hover color settings. So for the text, I can put it on orange. And then let's go to the icon color. I can put that on blue. I can also change the background of the icon color here, as well as the border. If I want to give it a little bit of an effect for that. Now I will close this one here. Where are my icon settings here? And this is what's going to happen. If you increase it now to two, you're going to see that we're not going to keep all of those settings. And this is quite a big problem because it means you're going to style these one by one if you want to create a list, a contact list like this is ideal. But if you want to create a list where the icons remain the same, it's going to take a little bit of extra work. So we can call this one extra work. We go through the same icon settings to lose that one. And we choose again the icon that we had here. And we also change the colors. General settings here allow you to display it as vertical or horizontal, which is again very nice for contact details. Put it back on vertical and you can even hide the labels if you just wanted to keep the icons. Change the position here as well as the icon size. And then you also have control over the topography sizing. If you need it to go bigger, like in this case. Background size and borders, if you had applied that, and then you can also apply border radius, which will give you a circle in the background. Gap between items gives you a little bit of line height between those items. And then you also have control of the gap between the icon and the label. And that is the icon list in a nutshell. Very good for displaying lists as well as information. And you can add those links. We give the icon list three ferocious cats. Why doesn't it get the full seal of approval? Though we think it does a good job, we think it has styling limitations. The fact that I have to duplicate and redo the styling for each of the lists is a long, long road to go. Also, we think the icons hmm, need a few more icons. 
few ones, well, they are the crucial ones, but we would like to see at least 10 times more items than currently available. That makes the icon list good for short lists, contact lists or recipes, something where you just need to jot down a few things and not make miles and miles of lists. This is JP here at Websites for Beginners. Please give us a like to support the channel. See you in the next video.